Is everyone ready? Let's get ready for chemistry! Ah! All right, let's talk about electrolytic cells. A galvanic cell is one in which the reaction is spontaneous. An electrolytic cell is one in which the reaction is non-spontaneous. Or, AP chemistry, which in terms of E0 would be positive, and in terms of delta G0 would be negative. Let's look at this particular set of half reactions. If we were to carry this out, for a galvanic cell, it would be spontaneous. So in order to get electromotive force out of it, we would have to carry it out in two separate beakers. For this one, all we really need is two separate electrodes in the same beaker. And maybe we make those electrodes out of graphite? At one electrode, you're getting one half reaction. And at the other electrode, you're getting the other half reaction. The thing is, these reactions won't happen unless you hook this up to some sort of external power source. Or like a battery, or you plug it into the wall. You have to supply the voltage. You have to supply 1.32 volts in order for this reaction to happen. This is still the reduction, this is the reduction half reaction. So this is still the cathode. And this is the oxidation half reaction. So this is still the anode. And so what you would see is you would see nickel plating onto the electrode. Or maybe just forming and falling to the bottom. And then your bromine would be forming over on this electrode. If you stick a couple of electrodes into this, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not entirely sure which way the battery should be pointing. Kind of doesn't matter at this, to, to AP chemistry. What I'm concerned about is that one reaction is occurring at one electrode and the other half reaction is occurring at the other electrode. And so at this electrode, you would get solid aluminum plating onto the electrode. And at this electrode, you'd be forming bubbles. So this would be making bubbles. This is the reduction half reaction. So this is the cathode. And this is the oxidation half reaction. So this is the anode. We know this is going to be an electrolytic cell because the cell potential is negative. This is a non-spontaneous cell. So this thing requires energy in order to operate. It needs to be a battery, it needs to be hooked up to a, a variable power source, plugged into the wall, something like that. So here the manganeses are going to plate onto the electrode. And here you're going to be forming the iodine. The solution needs to be able to conduct electricity. Because this is the half reaction for reduction, this is the cathode. And because this is where oxidation is happening, this is the anode. So basically the only difference between a galvanic cell and an electrolytic cell is an electrolytic cell is non-spontaneous, requires energy in order to run.